Corkspine, thank you for being here. I see, uh, yes, it is a sad day indeed for our Fire Red team. But, uh, so, the idea with this deck, like I said, Death Shadow is here. It's a brand new card. Really, really excited to have it in, uh, in Arena. The plan is to get our life total down uh, by use of Shocklands, by use of Thoughtseize, things like that. Get ourselves down to a low enough and a manageable life total, but be able to really, really pump this thing up. Uh, and make it really, really strong. Now, we also, in Historic, have Scourge of the Skyclaves, which plays a very similar role, uh, in that it gets stronger the, le the, the lesser the life total. So, uh, the idea here is that we can really, really capitalize on these cheap and hopefully very strong creatures. The rest of the deck, we do have Luris as a way to kind of recur, recur some things. Don, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate it, buddy, for six months. Tapia saying, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, we're back. We're streaming. Uh, I know it's been a long time. Don, you are amazing. I really, really love you. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, the A lot of the deck here, though, is all about threat management uh, and destroying the opponent's hand. Uh, Omega, what's up, man? Uh, so we've got Agonizing Remorse and Thoughtseize here to tear apart the hand. We've got Fatal Push. Uh, we've got Feed the Swarm uh, and uh, Shatter Skull Smashing to deal with opposing creatures, uh, as well as some enchantments. That's kind of the nice thing about Feed the Swarm. Uh, we've got other aggro threats, so Bowmat Courier can hopefully refill our hand late game. Uh, Knight of the Ebon Legion gets stronger the more damage we do. Uh, and then, of course, Dreadhorde Arcanist to bring some stuff back. Jimbo, good to be back, man. I really, really appreciate it. It's only one month, but the sixth in a row. Don, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, we do have Stormfist Crusader to also continuously draw some extra cards, kind of like a poor man's Dark Confidant. Uh, and I really, really like this card, so we'll see how that works. And then Agadim's Awakening as a way to uh, hopefully recur some threats as needed. Uh, this has a very low land count. Technically, it has 14, although we do have the Shatter Skull Smashing and the Awakening here as lands too. So uh, thankfully, it's a very low-cost deck. We don't need a lot of lands, and we'll see how it goes. But guys, it is great to be back. I know it has been a long time. Uh, we've had a number of network issues. We're still having those network issues, so we're going to push through as best we can uh, today, but hopefully we don't run into too many. We already did once, but here we are, um, and so hopefully we can kind of push through and do okay with this, but let's go ahead and keep this. The good thing is all these little lands here deal three damage to us if we bring them in untapped, which isn't bad for us because it allows us to uh, play out Death Shadow. A little bit sooner so we can do this play the bowmat courier get out for uh some early damage and then hopefully have that red mana open late game so we can refill our hand if need be uh so not bad uh not a great start obviously but it's not the worst thing in the world uh fatal push fantastic uh let's hit ourselves i am gonna just fatal push this uh, so we can get in for a little damage here, uh, and then we'll see what happens. Guys, how are we doing today? I know it's been a while, uh, but I want to know. I have missed you guys so, so much. I know it's been like it's been like a week and a half since I've streamed. It feels weird to stream again, I'm not going to lie. Um, we've been doing a lot of Pokemon content just for fun, um, and I've really enjoyed it, actually. I hope you guys have. I know Corkspine's been watching, uh, and sad day for for quirk a little bit here but uh it has been a really good time for sure okay uh so we can feed the swarm um is that the right call though uh we can also just do this drop death shadow uh let's see we can't play everything that we want to play that's kind of the bad side to this um Let's attack in first. Let's see what they do. I'm perfectly happy to trade this off. That's kind of fine with me. Um, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm actually going to have it enter tapped. Uh, still hoping for Strixhaven pre-release happening at our LGS. Dude, Don, I hope so. I really, really hope so. I would love to pre-release again. I don't think I'm going to be vaccinated anytime soon i work from home and the reality is that's just not in the cards for me but uh it would be a really fun time um i would enjoy that quite a bit so hopefully hopefully we can do something um 
Let's do this. The Pokemon's been good, but glad to see some MTG content too. Thank you. Thank you, Tapia. I know you've been watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and I, I know we lost Persian early, early on, but you're still here with us. That's what matters. Uh, no, but I really do appreciate everybody being uh, so supportive of that series. It's been a really fun time. Uh, let's get this out here. Yes, heck yes. Uh, between the Golgari and the Is It School, I'm landing on Golgari, honestly. I really, really like the Golgari School. I think it's the my favorite, personally. Let's attack with both. Let's see what happens here. We have Barge in. Uh, so that can add that up. Get some damage in. Uh, they do still have the Knight, which is a very powerful card, but crucially, ours is a little bit stronger at this point, so we should be able to push through for some damage. We also do have Luris as a backup, whereas they... Ooh, Hexproof from Black. That's pretty good. Um, I definitely think, though, Don, I'm, I'm in the Golgari school. That thing is sweet. I love it. Um, ooh, they're holding back, it looks like. Maybe? We'll see. We will see. Uh, it's great to be back doing some magic content. I have very much missed doing magic content, I'll be honest. Uh, it's been what feels like forever. But here we are. Huh. Out of curiosity, we're just gonna try something this turn. This turn. So we can just kill this Knight of Grace. That's kind of nice. Um, it does mean we don't get a free attack in here. Uh, which I'm okay with. That doesn't bother me. But that Hexproof from Black is a bit crucial to our... or It, it really, really puts a damper on our game plan. Crucially, lands do not have a color. So that does hit. Um, and I find, I will say, I have tested this deck a decent amount um, over the last couple days to try and prepare for today's stream. I have found um, that this is really where the deck seems to be lacking, is in this kind of late game territory. It's not that it's bad, it's just it doesn't do... Uh, it doesn't go over the top quite as hard as like the modern version, which is obvious, right? It's a historic format, it's not going to be as powerful. But, uh, I, I don't know. It's kind of missing that piece, so I don't know if it's actually going to be good enough for the ladder. Also, nope, wrong way. Let's do a little bit of that. There we go. Just feeling a little squished in the corner here. Return target card from the graveyard. Okay. Uh, sure. That's kind of fine. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's first swing in. Uh, remember, crucially, we do have Luris, so we are able to actually trade stuff off, and it's fine. Uh, because we can kind of do other things to get in there for some damage, so that's not really a problem for us. So, if we do this, that should be enough to get rid of the knight. They still pump it up, crucially, because if they do that, then they, um... They give it Death Touch, uh, and then I think we just do this. Let's play with what we have. Give Get that damage in there. Crucially getting another counter here, which is going to power us up enough to get above this Midnight Reaper. The Order of Midnight, we really don't have much we can do about. It can't block, but it can start swinging in in the air, which is a little scary. Uh, but very crucially, this is a, an important piece to the puzzle. That might change things. Um... This is sorcery speed. We do have to keep that in mind. Uh, but, I mean, they just kind of have to block here. I mean, they don't really have a choice. So let's do this. Let's see if they have any responses. That's fine. Looks like they do not. So in that instance, what we are going to do is just put Luris into our hand. We're kind of taking things slow. I want to make sure that we're playing as smoothly as we can here. Uh... Interesting. Okay. That's fine, though. That's actually not bad. Um, get in for an attack. That's fine. So we can just feed the swarm. Ooh, no, we can't. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So we can lure us, or we can feed the swarm and Dreadhorde Arcanist. Uh, 
Hmm. Very curious to see how this plays out. So, first things first. We are going to attack in. We'll see if they block. Um, they have to. I mean, they absolutely have to. The question is, do they block to kill it? They're not... This may kill us. Hmm. Yep. Yep. We shouldn't have done that. We should have slow played it. That was a mistake on our end. Um, so we just die. Yeah. Wow. Well, well played, opponent. That was very, very good. Um, that was actually a very close game. Had we not done that, we should have seen the writing on the wall. That was kind of a mistake, but um, that was a very good game. Very, very good. Worth noting. Oh, thank you, Tapia, for the anti-hype. I love it. Who wants to keep score today, by the way? Uh, Tapia, Don, either one of you guys want to keep score? Jimbo, I saw you were here in Omega as well. Who would like to keep score? Also, guys, tell me tell me something fun that you're doing this week. Give me something exciting. Uh, this is a great starting hand, actually. Seems fine. Um, we can Knight turn one with Agonizing Remorse turn two. Uh, I think that's good enough. Let's do this, and let's do this. I probably will not be on the whole stream top yet. Not a problem. Just appreciate you being here. I know it's been a while, guys. We will try and get back into the regular swing of things. Um, that's obviously the goal. Uh, but it's just been a crazy, hectic couple weeks, and so took some time away. Um, all right. Well, um, I think the kill is Ritual of Soot, because that kills a lot of things. Yeah, I think it's just Ritual. Really don't like their hand. That's a very scary hand for us because they have all the answers. Uh, but crucially, we don't want to give them... If they are one for wanting us, we can theoretically get around it. If they're, you know, keeping us down the whole time with, like, a sweeper, that's a bit of a problem. Are you trying for the card hunt on Friday, Tapia? Yes, we are absolutely going to try for the card hunt on Friday. I have high hopes. Um, it will hopefully be a... Uh, a more, I'll say, special episode. If we can get some more stuff going this time around, uh, I think we're going to be opening a little bit more than we normally would since we missed last Friday. Uh, and Jimbo says he can keep track. Jim, thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. They're going to shock. They're going to play Narset. Uh, we have to consider if we want to kill Narset this coming turn or not. I think we do. We definitely do. So let's do this. Uh, does have to be attacking. Hmm. Let's do that. Get that out of there. Um, and let's just put this into our hand right now. Uh, we don't want to play it out. They've got plenty of ways, I think, that they could deal with it. But we will see. Uh, ooh, that's an interesting pickup. Um... All right, well, let's attack first. We'll go ahead and throw this on there. Um, they can just counter this, so that's fine. They'll burn a counter spell, uh, which does just allow us to kind of have a free-ish turn here. Um, I kind of just like the Stormfist Crusader play, but I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about um, what they could have here. So let's do this instead. Let's play Luris. Let's play Knight. This gets around Angras Rampage fairly well, um, so hopefully that's the only major removal spell that they have. If so, we're in good shape. Uh, if not, if they've got another ritual or something along those lines, we are in some serious trouble. Uh, but I do think this is the best play. Let's start by Thought Seizing, 100%. I'm assuming they negate this. Um, but that does crucially mean they're out of mana. Uh, which is important for us. Wow, Nicol Bolas. Okay. Uh, do they have their red source? They do not have their red source. Um, but they have ways to get it. So I think we just take Nicol Bolas. I just don't think we can crucially very easily deal with that. Uh, and I think we just attack in... 
Oh yeah, we get to Thought Seize again. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> they can negate this time. Yeah, I kind of expected them to. Alright. Man, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Such a good card. Um, I mean, it's making waves in major eternal formats, so that's not a surprise, but my goodness. Alright, so, uh, they play Kazmina. It's kind of fine. Um, and they give up! They give up! Let's get that hype in the chat, guys. We did it! We did it. The first win. Oh, the first win back. That feels good. Oh, that feels so good. Alright, we did it. Love it, love it. Alright, let's jump into game number three. Jimbo keeping us updated on the score. Thank you so much, that one and one. Let's open up a pack. And we got mastery, so let's uh, let's go do this too. Uh, really, really quickly. Um, sure. Why not? Thank you, Tapia, for that hype. Appreciate you, buddy. It's so good to be back streaming. We'll hopefully uh, gain some people back as well. I know you true subscribers are all here, and I that's that's all that matters. You guys are the best. <laughs> Uh, also, just a heads up, we will have another Pokemon episode coming out later today. Because it took so long to train, excuse me, the Pokemon that died, or train up Pokemon uh, from the last episode, because uh, I had to replace four, um, we, it did take a little longer to uh, to record, so that's why that the morning episode went up just a slight bit late, and then obviously... Um, the the afternoon episode is going to be going up late too but that means we're having three videos over on youtube today that's pretty good that's pretty good uh this is a great starting hand um i think what we're gonna do is start with thought sees. i'd prefer to start there Ooh, ooh, good stuff good stuff uh it actually wouldn't mind pokemon streams either and i figured this next one wasn't up yet uh yeah Interesting. This is a very interesting hand. Uh, we have Fatal Push to deal with the other one. Hurry Games, welcome. No, we are playing Death Shadow in Historic today, uh, which I'm very happy about because I absolutely love Death Shadow. Um, all right. Uh, let's do this. And I'm actually going for the Dreadhorde Arcanist plan here. The reason being, we can attack with it after playing Fatal Push next turn. Um, on my assumption is this a Johnny's Pride mate. Um, we actually then get to Thought Seize again and waste, hopefully, another turn for them. So that seems pretty good. Uh, so let's do this. Let's also play Bowmat Courier because we can. We're back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I know these network issues are frustrating. I tried very hard to get in contact with our ISP and schedule some time, but they would not meet with us. Uh, so... We are back. Sorry, guys. If you could let me know in chat if you are still here, that would be much appreciated. To let you know, we did win that last game. They actually gave up uh, after that turn. They they gave up, so kind of worked out. Still here, Jimbo. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so that does up our count of wins by one. Um, we'll keep this. It's a bit of an odd hand, but uh, thankfully we can kind of keep with these uh, lands here. Jimbo, thanks for updating the score. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, let's get you out. Let's pay three, and let's do this. Next turn, we play Agonizing Remorse. Get a card out of hand. Little worried. This is Yorian. Yorian is a scary, scary deck. Uh, Fatal Push, probably not going to do the most here. Uh, let's first... Hey, Turbo Scott, what is up, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, uh, what are we worried about here? It might just be Search for Ascanta seems like a great card draw or uh, card advantage engine. We're not anywhere close to being hit with that. We actually, ah, that was a bit of a mistake. We had Feed the Swarm in hand, uh, so it would have actually been better for us to have waited, stolen something else, and then played Feed the Swarm. But it's okay. On lunch break, are we winning so far, Scott? We are two and one. We're actually not doing too bad. Uh, this Death Shadow list is very interesting, I will say. Uh, let's do this. Uh, and I think we're just going to attack in and buff up here. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about getting cutes. We can save these cards for later. Uh, 
and this gets us to a point where this is just going to fight through regardless. So, crucially, they did not play a second blue. They had the Glacial Fortress in hand and did not play it. So are they going to play something this turn, or are they just going to... Okay, they're pulling Yorian into the hand. Scary. Very scary. Uh, we do have Dreadhorde Arcanist, so we could actually do some work there. Um, let's see. Let's... Let's take the opportunity to Fatal Push. Uh, let's attack in. And then we're going to Dreadhorde Arcanist. Now, what this does, crucially, it gets the Dreadhorde Arcanist down uh, before they can counter it. But crucially, it allows us to play, uh, like, some semblance of, you know, Fatal Push or something like that if they, uh, if they get to that point. Now, we don't... They're obviously not going to have a whole lot of creatures, but we'll see. Uh, let's attack in. We're going to decline to play uh, the Fatal Push. Interesting. Uh, okay. We'll decline. Hit him for one. Um, and I think we'll just throw this into hand. Let's not overthink it. Let's be very clean with what we're doing and very mana efficient. I think that's the best thing we can possibly do. That's fine, actually. We have Feed the Swarm to deal with that. So not a huge problem. It's not great for us because they probably have more than one. <laughs> um, but it could certainly be a lot worse. We are down to nine. We have to keep that in mind. But we can play Scourge, which is now an 8-8, eight, eight, uh, which seems very, very good. Uh, just going to play Yorian. I mean, we can just feed the Swarm Yorian. Uh, that is something we can do. We take a lot of damage to do it. But I think it's worth it. Let's get it out of there. We take five, which is a heck of a lot of damage. Um, those lands aren't pulling. No, we are not. Keeping in mind, Tapia, this is such a low land count in this deck. Uh, which is the intention. Let me be clear in saying that's the whole idea. Because um, we're maxing out here at three. But... Um, sure. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's attack. Decline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they have one more land, they can do that. But if not, we're okay. It's a five. Uh, she says, but this still sucks to miss some. Yeah, it does. It's fine, though. Um, not going to play this knowing that they have Undo Inversion in their hands. Um, I just don't think that's worth it. Yeah, and here we go. This is what's going to do it. So they get to Undo Inversion. That's fine. Um, Thoughtseize is interesting. That puts us down to two, though. That's a scary place to be. But let's do it. Screw it. We're here. We're going to do it. Yep, let's get onto a version out of there. We'll get Scourge down. Um, eventually, they just win. So we have to finish this one up fast. Uh, I'm a bit worried because they do have, yeah, things like this that are going to get them through the game very, very quickly here. Uh... Let's hit for five. Uh, we could hit for a bit more, but I don't think it's worth it. Do that. Let's play Luris. On the off chance they can't deal with... Oh, uh, I guess they just Sinister Sabotage it, right? I think that's okay, though. So, I have not been counting. Oh, no, they had Wrath. Ugh, that's terrible. Alright, so I think we that means we're going to lose, right? Because I think eventually they're just going to be drawing their, uh... Oh, man. Man. So can they just play Approach? It's the next card. Okay, so they win. They just play Approach and then they win. So, that's okay. That was a very interesting game, actually. They managed their life total extraordinarily well. Um, 
and we kind of misplayed a bit, but I don't think it was terrible. Hey, Meatloaf, what's up, buddy? It's good to see you. It's good to be back in streaming, everybody. All right. We're going to play a couple more games here, everybody. Thank you so much, Jimbo, for uh, keeping track of the score. Toppy is showing that anti-hype in the chat. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's jump in. What do we got? Uh, yeah, this is a keep. Um, so we've got the Bowmat Couriers here to kind of get us started and get us through the, the early turns. Uh, and hopefully we can refill our hand with one. Uh, that would be ideal. Depending on what we're up against, that's a easier said than done kind of thing. But we will see. Okay. Let's play this. We'll play this. They could very easily just have a shock to deal with this Bowmat Courier before it even hits. Uh, if they... What they should do is let me hit with it, or attack with it, excuse me, first, and then shock it. Uh, hey, a new follower, Therapy Pancake. What a lovely username. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our little community. What's going on, man? Uh, we are playing some Death Shadow today. Uh, and I'm loving it. I love, love, love Death Shadow. All right. I think we fatal push here. Uh, you should make a token factory deck. That would be fun. Uh, that would be very, very fun. So, Pancake, have you, out of curiosity, first of all, welcome. What brought you to our channel? Was it the giveaway, or have you been a longtime viewer or anything like that? Uh, gotta go, GG's. Thank you, Tapia. Have a fantastic day, my friend. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, but what brought you here, if I may ask? Um, we're gonna pay two here, and we're just gonna do this. All right, Shatter Skull smashing. Let's take out these two. Omega, you should be able to see the stream now. Uh, I apologize, we ran into the, the network issue once again. Get rid of this. All right. Let me know, guys, if you're not seeing the stream. You're back. Thank you, Meatloaf. Thank you, thank you. We did throw away a few cards there, but I think that's okay. Uh, Niatic, no. Unfortunately, it's my network. I don't know what keeps happening to it. Um, I've tried to schedule a time with our ISP to get them to come look at it, and they have been very unresponsive as of late. Um, and so I'll try and figure it out. But unfortunately, we're just kind of pushing through those challenges as of right now and hoping that we can make it through. Um, so I do appreciate everybody's patience. I know it's frustrating. I promise you we will get it looked at and figured out very, very soon. Um, if nothing else, I'm going to just reset some things and see if we can get there. Interesting. A hollow one. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool. Uh, well... We can trade out. Should have played this first, I suppose. Are we gone again? Meatloaf, we should be okay at this point. I'm looking now. Um, looks like everything is okay again. Okay for you, Scott. Cool. Good, good. Let's play Scourge here. Thank you, Meatloaf. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, guys, for the issues. I know it's a bit frustrating. I uh, I assure you my plan is to reset everything again. Uh, I've done this multiple times at this point, but my plan is to reset things again, see if that helps, and then I'm trying to push through with our ISP and get them out here, but they've had apparently a lot of outages. It's not just us, uh, and so unfortunately that just means it's a little bit difficult for them to get out here. Uh, could have done something a little more exciting last turn where we could have attacked with Bowmat Courier having already played the Scourge, and then at that point <clears throat> we could have refilled our hand for free, essentially, uh, which is something I'm planning to do next turn. How oh, they Zenith Flare just that. That is interesting. Okay. They're not gonna attack, I assume? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna let this hit, um, because it allows us to do this. We're going to discard here. 
Yeah, Omega, we are. Um, all right, and now we get to do some work. Look at this. All right, so uh, let's hit the hand first. Get cast out out of there. Uh, and we'll play another Scorch. That's pretty good. And now I think we just hold off. Uh, so next turn, we actually can Dreadhorde Arcanist into Thoughtseize again. Uh, yo, okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Pancake, so you said you were just looking for a small time streamer to watch. First of all, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Means a lot to have people like you. Oh, look, we won. Means a lot to have people like you in our community. Uh, let's get some hype in chat really quickly as well. Um, oh, yeah, Meatloaf. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, but Pancake, um, have you looked, just out of curiosity, have you looked at any of our other content or have you entered our giveaway? Uh, and tell me something interesting about yourself. Um, GG Niotic, thank you, buddy. We got there. We're going to play one or two more. I think that's going to be it. Um, give me something interesting about yourself, Pancake. I know I'm putting you on the spot. I apologize, but I do. I, I like to learn, since we are a small time, uh, channel. It's kind of nice to learn a little bit about some of our people. Therapy Pancake hates ketchup. Well, it's been good talking to you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, really? You hate ketchup? That's such an odd, like, obscure thing to just hate. Like, I mean, hey, you're entitled to your opinion. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that's so random. Um, okay. You know what? You're not wrong. I can get behind that. Um, we're going to go here. We do have the Death Shadow in hand, so at some point we're going to want to get some some damage in on ourselves. But we've got to Feed the Swarm in hand too, so... Ooh, this is Ram. Hmm, that's going to be scary. Okay, uh, that kind of helps actually. Uh, let's be mana efficient. I think that's the right call. <clears throat> They're going to sack it, I'm assuming, to give this indestructible. Or they could just let us take the damage. I actually think that's right. But I dare you to make a red fireball lightning shock aggro deck. Oh, dude. Pancake. Uh, That would be really fun. I'm kind of into it. The, like, uh, that's, like, hyper aggro. Super fun stuff. But, yeah, we could do it. All right. This is going to get scary. Oh no, they have another selfless savior. Okay. That's bad. Alright. Um, hmm. We gotta burn through these selfless saviors. That's the only chance we have, and realistically, it's not a good one. Um,. This is a bad, bad place to be. Let's play this, though, because it does allow us to play Fatal Push from the yard if we can get in and attack. That would be really, really cool. Um, I, I'm i very nervous about this one. Uh, this is a cool deck, though. The SRAM deck is a very, very interesting one. Yeah. They draw so much. <laughs> um... Hmm. Also, guys, I think this may be our last game uh, because I do have to jump back on to, unfortunately, real work, which is just so fun. Um, all right. Why do they always have something? This is so annoying. <laughs> okay. What do we need? What do we need? Uh, we really needed, like, a something else, not that. Um... So we do get to Fatal Push here. I mean, we make them sack it. I'm going to do this, but they're just going to sack, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. Um, play another Arcanist. And I think we just throw this out there. I'm going to let this enter Taft. We're about to take a pretty big hit here. I'm not trying to overextend, I don't think. 
Um, the other option would have been to play Luris, and then we could... Ah, uh, that doesn't seem great. Ugh, rough one. Very, very rough one. I will say we did a pretty good job of burning through what they had, but it's just not enough. They're going to be drawing so much here. <laughs> Worth noting, they do have to attack, um, but it's not going to matter. They're going to be able to deal. Interesting. That actually doesn't matter to us very much. They have one land available. If we had drawn a removal spell, we could have dealt with it. We did not draw a removal spell. Therefore, we cannot deal with it. Uh, what can we do? So if we do this, we can attack with it, ditch our hand for theoretically a potential removal spell. I think that's our best bet. That's our only bet, truly. Oh man, it's just another Bomat Courier. <laughs> no! No, that's terrible. Alright. Well. <laughs> I can't believe we just drew another Bomat Courier off of the Bomat Courier. Oh. Oh man. That sucks. That really sucks. I thought we could... That was, like, a pretty decent play, I think, but it's the only thing that could have gotten us out of this. If they just have any other pump spell, they win. Yeah, alright. Good game. I think, because that didn't take very long, let's do one final game. We will see if we can get through it. If we don't, if the uh, network crashes again, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just uh, end it there, but we're gonna push through for one more. We are now three and three. Uh... Hopefully, Jimbo, thank you so much. You are you are on it today. I really appreciate you, Jimbo. Um, we will see. I want to try and get one more win. Three and three is not a bad record, though, for a deck that um, I think is not necessarily the most uh, optimized, is the best way I could put it. Uh, this is a decent hand. We have the aggro sense with Stormfist Crusader and Bomat Courier if we need to, and then, of course, Feed the Swarm as backup. Um scored uh, this is obviously kind of our late game uh so hopefully we can get to that point happy to take a little damage here um Bomat courier is one of the best turn one plays in my opinion in uh arena it's just so clean it sets you up very very nicely and yes there is a target on its back 100 percent, but it's kind of fine um that's kind of what you want so i'm cool with it uh, being a bit quick with my plays here, uh, technically I should have waited, but it doesn't truly matter that much. They're, they're tapped, so it doesn't matter. But this does supply them with two potential threats. Um, Stormfist Crusader does help them in the long run, but it also damages everybody. Uh, and so, got some play here. Um, let's think about this. So... Uh, first things, we can just play barge in, so I think the, the first thing to do is just attack. They may take this as we plan to ditch our hand on the Bomat Courier, thankfully we don't. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, and I think we will just go ahead and play the Scourge. This, we, we're just supplying them with a lot of must-answer kinds of things at this point, and that Feed the Swarm gives us the opportunity to take out whatever they play this turn. Assuming it's not indestructible, that is a, a worry, um, but I think we're in okay shape. We'll see. We will see. Uh, but I do very much enjoy this deck. Skyclave Apparition. Okay. That's a very, very efficient way to get rid of that, so kudos to them. Um, I think we play for black here. It's in our graveyard, just that. That's fine. 
So my question is, do we just want to ditch our hand here for four cards? Which I think I kind of like that idea, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. Uh, resolve that. Let's play Knight. We don't even technically have to do it there, but that's okay. All right. That was a bit of an aggressive play. We could have held off on that. Um, so that could have been a mistake, but it's okay. We'll see. We now have another Feed the Swarm, which is great. And just Death Shadow, of course. Thoughtseize. Okay. Um, let's think, let's be safe, and let's be smart. Um, so what are we worried about, I guess, is my question. Um, we can kill one of these with Feed the Swarm, and then we just don't have to worry. Um, Thoughtseize can strip away something from the hand, which I think we will do now. I think we have to take that away. It gets us down very, very close to dead, though. <laughs> uh, which isn't a bad thing for us, but... Play Death Shadow. Let's attack. They definitely have to Skyclave Apparition on Death Shadow, um, which does allow them to attack in for one if they would like. But then we have Shatter Skull Smashing to deal with their team, uh, which should lock up the win for us, if I'm not mistaken. Because we could just hit both of these with Shatter Skull Smashing, and then we're, we're in fine shape. So, whoo, that's so close. All right. Land, let Shatter Skull for three. And do that. That should lock it up. Yeah. Look at that. Guys, we did it. Final record, four and three. Jimbo, thank you so much for keeping score for us today. I really appreciate you guys uh, kind of dealing with all of the, uh, the the network issues. I will be working on that on the back end as I have been to try and figure out what's going on there. I've been monitoring. If anybody has suggestions, reach out to me because I would absolutely appreciate it. Unfortunately, at this point, it's just been a very frustrating process, but... Uh, I really do appreciate it, Jimbo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I do appreciate you guys being here. It's great to be back streaming with you guys. Thank you for, for sticking with us while we were out doing some other stuff, but we're back. We are back, guys. Do not worry. Scott, thank you so much for the hype. Do not worry, though. We will be back tomorrow as well, probably with more historic. I think I'm, I'm sticking with historic for a little bit. Uh, there's a lot more interesting stuff, and we've kind of worn standard out a little bit since Kaldheim, so uh, stay tuned for more historic content. Therapy Pancake, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, following us and hanging out today. Uh, I hate that you don't like ketchup, but that's okay. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.